again with another great holiday opportunity. Okay, so this is the Kansas City Steak Company, Choice Up. Now, I have three choice of prime ribs, which is great because we all have different size families, and it's great to have that perfect prime rib. So here's what I have for you. I have uh, three and a half to four pounds, okay? This is going to feed like four to six people. Again, it varies on size, center of the plate if you have a ham. And then I have the four and a half to five pound, and that's like six to 10 people, right? Now, I, show, I left the netting on, and we're going to talk about that later. That ensures that even cooking. That's a secret that Kansas City State Company gives you. And then you got the big boy. That's the, uh, si the five and a half to six pound, and that's going to go like 12 to 14 people. So again, see, and we have two delivery dates on this. First is immediate, which I know is extremely limited. And then I have the week of December 6th, which is also very limited. There's, I don't believe, oh, whoa, wait a second. We have auto delivery on this? That's awesome. So you can lock in this price. Again, I've said it before, meat's going up. You can lock this in for a year. Every 90 days, you can get this. And again, if you're gifting this, you're thinking about maybe next year's uh, holiday party. Okay, talk to me about it. It's okay. So the auto delivery is three. Okay, got one now, one in April, and one in November of next year. But again, still concept is lock in that price and you're good to go. So again, this is item number. Uh, M79975. Uh, we have Easy Pay, which is awesome, right? Free shipping and handling. So you get three sizes of our award winning prime ribs. This has been at QVC for over 20 years. Uh, the feature prices, as you see right there, they vary for each size. We'll go through the sizes again in a little bit. But let's dive into this beautiful prime rib that I cooked up today. And I'm going to talk to you about how easy it is because I'm sure people are like, well, Ralph, prime rib, whoa, whoa, that's way too hard. I'm like, no, no, I got you. Here's how easy it is. But first, let's see what this looks like, okay? Let's see how juicy this is. And I'm going to tell you the temp of this in a second. Now, here's what we got here. Let me get it here. Oh, it's steaming. It's beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to put that piece right there. It's like a gigantic piece. Now, look at that, okay? That is absolutely, that's about a, we're going to actually check the temperature. I'm not going to guess. That is a beautiful medium. Now, do you see this? It is super juicy. Because this is prime rib. What does that mean? It is heavily marbled part of the cattle. It's actually the most marbled. You get a little bit of that fat cap that goes all the way around it. And we leave just enough fat so that you don't have to sear this. All you do is put it in the oven. So let's talk about how easy this is. And by the way, one more time, just look at that. I'm just dragging that knife and look at those juices. Now, how do you cook this? How does it come? Is it tough? No, no, no. First of all, this is easy. It comes frozen. Let it sit in your fridge for about three to four days. The day of, put it on your kitchen, all right, on the, on the counter, and let it sit until it comes to room temperature. You never want to put cold meat into the oven. Now, you put the oven at 375. The, the, the uh, lining that I talked to you about, the netting, you leave that on because that's going to give you even cooking. So you're not worrying about, you know, is it cooking evenly? What's going on? You put it in the oven at 375. You wait about an hour and a half. You have one of these thermometers. Now, mine's a little fancy, right? But you could buy these for like 2 or $3. At about, about an hour and a half, you're going to go into the center of the meat. And when it reads up 128, you're going to pull it out, and then you're going to cover it with aluminum foil and let it sit for 20 minutes. This sat for 20 minutes. You saw how juicy it was, and you also saw the steam on it. This is reading 150, okay? 150 exactly. What does that mean? That's a perfect medium. Okay. So again, that's how easy it is. So let's talk about what you get. Then we'll come back. We'll talk about how you cook it again, because I want to get this to the point where you know that you could do this. You don't have to be a chef. This is super easy. So let's talk about this. This is a Kansas City State Company. We've been at QVC for over 20 years. And by the way, the prime rib, it's been our biggest hit and it's a tradition. Okay. When you see these prime ribs, you know, your favorite time of the year is coming up. So here's what I got. Let me go. Let me start at the small guy. Three and a half to five pounds. Okay. That's perfect, right? Because everyone has different size families, right? So this is like six to 10. You're not going to have a lot of waste. And if you do, best cheesesteak of your entire life. Okay. Next one is a, a four and a half to five pound one. Okay. Again, this is like six to 10 people. I get, oh, I got, a, I got an update. 
I have 100 remaining in the immediate ship, okay? Week of December 6th, or two. No, see, see, two, that's it, okay. That's it, two, not 22, okay. <laughs> in the five and a half to six pound, which is right here, yeah? What do I got? In the immediate ship, I have fewer than two dozen. And shipping the week of December 6th, I have fewer than, would you say two dozen? Four dozen. Okay. Four dozen. So again, this is a tradition, very limited. And, and you know why? You First of all, this is like a, the most buttery rich meat you'll ever have. Because at Kansas City Steak Company, all we care about is taste. Taste matters to us. This is an aged piece of prime rib, right? You never see that before. This is Midwestern beef. So it's eating a rich, beautiful diet. And by the way, look at this. This is a perfect medium. I cooked this at 375 for two hours. I went in with a meat thermometer and it read about 140. I took this out. I let it sit with a little bit of tinfoil on it for about 20 minutes. It goes up about 10 degrees. And it right now it's a perfect 150. This is, you just serve this. And by the way, Nice sharp knife. The sh a sharp knife is so important. Don't be scared of a sharp knife. It will do the work for you. And I'm just literally gliding this. I'm a little seesaw action. I finish and then I plate and then I'm ready to go. Look at that. And that was easy. And that is buttery rich prime rib. So let's start with the offer. And then let's talk about, you know, how easy this is and what this is. Okay. This is the Kansas City State Company. Um, I have three choices. Why do I like this offer? is because we all have different size families. and But we want the prime rib, right? So you don't know who's coming, who's not coming, who can't come, whatever the thing is. I like these choices because these feed different varieties of people. So here's what I got. I'm gonna start with the small one. Three and a half to four, uh, four pound uh, prime rib. That's right here. The netting you see here is important. I left it on to make a point. This ensures even cooking, right? So you have to worry about this. By the way, we leave just enough fat you see here you see a little meat candy there. You don't have to sear this. You literally just put it in the oven. That's how easy it is. Next I have is the four and a half to five pound. Okay. This feeds about six to 10 people. And then the five to six and a half prime rib right here. And that's like, I think, uh, right, uh, four and a half to five pound. All right. I'm told that this size, the four and a half to five, is our most popular size. It's, it's in the middle of these three, and it makes sense. How many of this is going to feed? Six to ten people easily. But again, how many sides do you have? What do you have going on on the table? Sure. Okay, so Kansas City State Company, we've been at QVC for over 25 years. We've been in business since 1832, and all we care about is taste, right? We started as a small little butcher shop, and we just happen to be in the heart of cattle land with the most beautiful rich cattle we dictate the diet so if a farm a farmer wants to work with us there's strict guidelines because we want the tastiest juiciest meat you see those juices those i mean get a little closer right here you see those juices that's marbling right you only get that from a rich piece of meat okay and when you cook this though marbling it bastes the meat it's like a self basting meat i mean look at that by the way, this has been out of the oven for now 30 minutes. It is at 150, and look how juicy. I'm just literally dragging my knife across this. It's that easy. So Kansas City State Company, again, we've been in business for a long time, and all we care about is taste. We age our beef. We, we freeze these. We deep freeze these. So these could stay to uh, 12 months in your freezer, which is incredible, right? And when you thaw these out, okay, this is going to be just as good as the day we packaged it which you, you, you have no idea when you go to a grocery store and get a prime rib, you have no idea how long it's been sitting. And by the way, the quality, not even close. This is high end. Think of the fanciest brunch, fanciest wedding. That's this at the carving station, carving away. That's what this is. It's important to know that because we give you the meat. Okay, let's, let's go immediate ship. What do I got left? Okay, what do we got? Three and a half. Uh, what do I got? Yep. I have 115 that was shipped out immediately of the three and a half to four. Okay. Let's. 
Four and a half to five pound. How many do I got? Seven dozen immediately shipping out. I get it. Okay. Five and a half to six pound. Yep. A dozen and a half. So people are loving this. And again, center of the piece. And we have auto delivery on this. It's, I believe, three times in the uh, over a span of a year that you will get the prime at this price. Very important. Lock in the price. You'll get the immediate ship, number one. You'll get one in April of 2022. That's two. And then one in November of 2022. And you're going to lock in the price now. So a year, almost a year from now or less than a year from now, same price. And I can guarantee you the price of meat will not be the same next year. No, it's not going to happen. Let's talk about, we have the easy pay on this, which is great. Spread those payments out because you got a lot of other things you're worrying about. Uh, we talked about the auto delivery. And by the way, free shipping and handling. This is another great gift. If you're not going to be with some folks, send this to them because ready? Here's how it easy is. So they're going to get it frozen. You're gonna, they're going to put it in the refrigerator for about three to four days. Let it kind of naturally thaw. The day of, you're going to take it out of the refrigerator, get it up to room temperature in your kitchen. Put the oven on at 375. Put the prime with the netting on it in a nice glass dish or whatever, a roasting pan, fat side up. Why? Because now you want to, it's going to self baste itself. You don't have to sit there and baste and baste and baste. It will just surely, the fat will just coat all the meat, keep it moist, and it'll be tasty. Now, an hour and a half later, what you're going to do, you're going to take your meat thermometer, okay? These are very cheap. You can buy them anywhere or buy yourself a nice one. And you're going to put it in the center of the piece of meat. When it reads 128 to 130, you're going to take it out. Why? Because at that point, it's about a medium rare. Okay? It's a medium rare. And you want to take it out. Why do I want to rest my meat? There's two reasons. One is all those juices, that juices I'm showing you, if I didn't let this rest, I'd have a pool, okay? A pool of juice. Don't you want that juice in your mouth and not on, and on here? And by the way, it's still juicy as it sits. At, look, it's still juicy as it sits. And you see that. It's beautifully juicy. Now, you're going to put tinfoil on that while it rests. And then after 20 minutes, it'll be ready to go. Now, Ralph, you're like, well, uh, I don't, maybe I don't like medium. I, I like medium well. Well, there's two routes you could go. Keep it in till it's like 145, 150. Or come to the back end of this prime rib, right? And literally, if you kind of slice some pieces off here, look at this. Oh, hello, medium well. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's medium well. Oh, not that. Look at that. Because, see, what happens is this is the smaller end of that prime based on the size. This is the front, and I call this the back. There's medium well pieces back here. So you don't even have to mess around with times or anything. It's that easy, okay? Again, the, the netting's on there. You get even cooking. And again, 375, an hour and a half, thermometer, take it out, let it rest, and slice away. Make sure you have a sharp knife because let the knife do the work. That's it. If you have a dull knife, that's where you get kind of caught up and stuck. Sharp knife will just cut it really nicely, and you won't be scared. Now, let's talk about um, juice, right? You want a little a jus, they say, or however you say it, gravy. Here's what you do, okay? You don't have to put vegetables or anything in the bowl, in, in the uh, dish. It will, it will just render the fat and the flavor. What I do is I take it, and I put it in a little, like, bowl, okay? And I put a bunch of butter in it. And then I just kind of cook it, and I stir it, and I cook it. You don't have to mess with the flour. You can if you want a thick one. But for prime rib, you know what? I don't like I don't like a thick gravy. I want to taste the meat. I don't want to taste flour. I just want something to just kind of like dig that meat into. I want to taste the prime rib, the most heavily piece of marble meat on the cattle. And again, we leave just enough fat. And what happens is there's a little piece right here, okay? And you just know, see how it's kind of like, it just kind of hugs the meat and it keeps it from drying out. You're never going to dry this out. Don't worry about it. 375, hour and a half, that's it. Don't worry about anything else. Let's talk about the offer, okay? Here's what I have. I have three sizes, and I know we're extremely limited. And the sizes, the, the reason why we did this is because we know everyone has different like, like size of families. And we know you love our prime rib. And every year has been a little bit different for everyone. So you know what? We're like, Let's give them three sizes because we don't know what's happening in their lives this year, but we still want them to have that beautiful primary.